10. Yeah. Uh. Check it. Yeah. Look. Heavyweight, this the heavyweight. Heavyweight, this the heavyweight. Heavyweight, this the heavyweight. Can NoFap really make your eggplant bigger? I've seen a lot of people make this claim, so here is my take on it. I don't think that it can actually make it bigger, like physiologically, but I have noticed something personally. Whenever I would quit porn, the quality of it filling up got much better. It got harder and it even got a little bit bigger. It's as if it just filled up more. It's kind of like when you take a balloon and you blow a little bit more air into it, it will get a little bit harder and a little bit bigger. Now this might not work for everyone guys, but it worked for me. And I think that it can probably work for a lot of other people as well. Because when you watch too much porn, one of the common side effects is that the quality of that thing filling up tends to diminish a little bit over time the more that you watch it. Yo, 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 what up YouTube? Welcome to Sin Take, man. My name is Jay Sin, coming back with another one, man. And I thought that would be an interesting clip to share. You know what I mean? Uh, I think it's actual factuals, what he was saying. You know, a lot of people, right? You got to think, it's a lot of people that take these uh, performance enhancement drugs, you know, so they could get their stuff up before they have sex. You know, you got Viagra, you got uh, motherfucking uh, Cialis and all of that shit that people pop. You know what I mean? People even get the shit that's at the gas station, the little goat weed and all that other shit, man. But for real, when you are on retention, you have absolutely no problems getting your shit up. You know what I mean? In my case, I'm speaking personally, right? Personally, you know, just from being out in public, right? You know, I told y'all sometimes my mind slip off, especially being in the gym and seeing cheeks around and shit like that. These women wearing the tight shit and all of that, man. You know, you see some bad women in the gym and then sometimes your mind will slip off. And then when your mind slip off, you know what I mean? Start going deeper and deeper. Then guess what? Then when you having those thoughts, guess what? Your shit going to rise. I noticed my shit rising easy as hell from the littlest things. You know what I'm saying? Whether it's just for me having a thought in my mind or literally just seeing a bad chick. You know what I'm saying? And my shit was just instant, just rock. And then I had to sit there and think about something else so my shit can go down. That's how much my sexual energy was just, you know what I mean? That's just how much overpowering that shit was, you know, which lets you know even further that sexual energy is one of the most powerful energies you can have in your body. So, yes, you know what I mean? And when I mean like rock hard, like rock hard, like and it was the littlest things, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, before when you was fapping and shit, like you could see an ass, you could see some cheeks, and you could see some titties and shit like that, a bad chick and all that, but your shit wouldn't get hard. When you was fapping, you wouldn't even get hard like that. You wasn't even, you was like, ah, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Because that porn was something that we leaned on. We leaned on pornography, so we didn't care. We thought we was the shit because we wasn't paying attention to chicks like these other dudes was. But real talk, we had anxiety already just from how much we was uh, fapping and how much porn we was watching. But we thought we was just like, ah, man, see y'all act, you know, trying to act big headed like seeing a bad chick don't phase us. But really, we was leaning on porn. Really, that anxiety, we already had anxiety anyway, so it's not like we was going to go try to talk to her or say anything to her, or, you know, uh, accept choosing signals if we got it, you know what I'm saying? But now that I'm on retention, like, listen, I had to get control of that shit. I'm a lot better now than what I was before because when you first start that shit, I'm talking in your 30s and 60, your first 30 and 60 days. Bruh, bruh, the littlest shit. I could just see the skin of a female and my shit was boing, like straight up pitching tent status, like straight up tent, tent 
status like yo and then i have to sit there until that shit go down or think about something else so there's a lot of people that struggle they think they have erectile dysfunction but really they could just be fapping too much really they could just have an overactive sex life and it ain't as easy to get their shit up as it used to be so for real for real all they need to do is retain some if you retain some, you would need to be taking Viagra, Cialis, and all these performance enhancement enhancement shits. All of these testosterone pills and nugenics and all of that shit. You don't need that shit when you retain. But when you have an overactive sex life, then you're going to need all that help just to get your shit up. So that should tell you right there that you need to slow down, hold some of that energy in. You know what I mean? But a lot of people, like I said, be in survival mode. So they think they just need to fuck, 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 bust nuts, nuts, nuts and, and knock everything down. But listen, I told y'all before, man, that don't make you a man doing that. All you doing is losing and wasting energy away, you know, and then you thinking that you got you got ED, you ain't got ED, you just need to slow the fuck down, so no, yeah, I agree with him in the clip, nah, I don't, I don't think personally that it makes your dick bigger, but your shit will get bigger than it ever have before when you aroused, when you see, when you, when you in that zone, in that mind frame, in that mindset, you know what I mean, especially when you retain it, it's nothing, it's nothing to get your shit hard. Absolutely nothing. And when I mean like I had to get that shit under control, I had to get it under control because it didn't take nothing for my shit to get hard. And for anybody else that's out there that may be going through erectile dysfunction or think they are, that's they fucking dream to have this type of motherfucking stamina or, or type of erection or type of arousal that fast that fast so if you ask me yeah my junk didn't get bigger but this is a benefit to semen retention you hold your shit in you got that energy and that's all it is that's not nothing that i'm even ashamed of admitting that i get hard quick as hell and guess what i still get hard but i still had to tame that when being out in public and shit because at the beginning man that shit was rough i'm keeping it 100 with y'all that shit was rough. You know what I mean? When you used to just fapping away and fapping away, like I said, when you seeing this flesh out here, when you seeing this shit in the open, when you seeing this shit in public, it, it was nothing. It was nothing. It was like, shit, I got, you know what I mean? I done fat three, three times already. You know what I'm saying? I done fat in the morning already twice. You know what I'm saying? So when you out in public at the gym and all that shit, you really don't care about the cheek. You act like you the one that's being all stuck up. Ah, man, there ain't nothing, ain't nothing. But really, dog, come on, man. You just fapping. You leaning on the porn. So don't act like, oh, you just not paying attention or you ain't on no thirsty shit. Nah. That ain't the case. You was just leaning on pornography. You was addicted to that screen. That's all that was. So, yeah, man, that's my take on it. Yeah, when you won't see me retention, your shit get harder than it ever has gotten before, and it's quicker. You arouse very, very fast, and all that is is your energy, bro. It's nothing to be ashamed about. It's no, uh, you know, nothing you know, uh, wrong with you that don't make you, uh, off balance or, you know, uh, uh, you know, closer to a relapse or any of that bullshit. All you do is you just got that energy build up inside of you. So there you go. You got indication that the energy is there. Now you can use that energy. Like for my, in my case, I'm at the gym. When I get that shit out of my head, you know, and my shit go down and guess what? I'm hitting, I'm back to the weights. So I'm hitting that shit even harder. I'm doing even better. You know what I'm saying? When I realize that energy is there. And before I go, I want to let y'all know that that was my first way. That was my first um, test, I would say, of transmuting that energy. You know, it's easy where, where you could just say like, oh, you just transmute this energy into this. You just transmute that energy into that. Well, guess what? That was my first practice test. 
And I was able to do that. I was able to actually take that energy that I was feeling that was actually making me hard. And then when I waited, let it die down, I was able to use that energy to uh, benefit the rest of my workout. So guess what? I was knocking them shits out. So even then, that helped train my mind, but I was still able to use that to my benefit. That's why I look at it as a benefit. The fact that I could get hard and get aroused that fast lets you know that that energy is there. So it's not a bad thing. Do it make your eggplant huge? No, it doesn't. But it will make your shit rock solid when it's time to go. And that's my word, man. My name is JCN and CN Take. Holla at y'all later, man. Peace. First, I'ma get on my grind. Then, second, stop wasting my time. On shit less important. If ain't about money, I'm going the other direction. And third, I'ma do what I gotta to eat. Fourth, I'ma sew up the streets. Fifth, I'ma never quit dropping this heat. So, as long as I'm breathing, you better get used to me. Sixth, I'ma get